The UN delegation saw firsthand the level of destruction of homes, listened to accounts of victims, and met public officials trying to ease the crisis that has affected more than 20 million people. The UN officials described the situation in the Lake Chad Basin as catastrophic. The crisis of the Lake Chad Basin is one of the largest but also the most neglected and forgotten crises. And we want to shine a spotlight on that crisis so that the whole world, including the governments of this region, can step up in response to the crisis before it is too late. Nearly two and a half million people have been forced out of their homes in Nigeria, Niger, Cameroon and Chad after eight years of Boko Haram violence. And the militant group has cut off about a million people from humanitarian aid, leaving them in need of urgent humanitarian assistance. Aid agencies are overstretched, and the gap between the suffering and the humanitarian response to the Lake Chad crisis is widening. I believe the challenge for us at the Security Council is finding a relation between these different approaches and engaging the way we are in front of you. We are dealing with the questions of the short term, the questions of the long term. The United Nations says it needs one and a half billion dollars to tackle the crisis in the Lake Chad region alone. But donor countries have pledged just a fraction of that. Now survivors hope the UN visit will highlight their plight. Fidelis Mba, TLT World.